What up guys, Ashley Elizabeth here with AEHM Artistry and today we are putting some Tarte concealers up to the test. Yes, they're gonna duel it out right on my face and we are going to see how long they wear, what the best one is specifically for the under eye area. So we have the Tarte Shape Tape, which is super hyped up. So let's see if that one sticks up to the test. And then we have the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And I saw that this one's waterproof and specifically it being creaseless totally got me like, what, what? Yeah. And I have never tried these ones before. And this one seems like it's a perfect one for me, the Creaseless Concealer, because I'm always worried about those under eye creases. But Tarte Shape Tape totally has like a cult following and every beauty guru seems to to swear by it. So let's see if it is worth the hype or not. Now these are both, I believe, $24. I got mine at Ulta using that 20% off coupon that was circulating a couple weeks ago, if you are a member. That was super cool. So in case you've been living under a uh -huh. beauty rock and haven't been seeing all of the crazy hype that's been circulating around Tarte Shape Tape, this is what it looks like. This is the little unicarton. It is 0.33 ounces and it's pretty chunky guy. It's way bigger looking than it does look on camera. Like it's pretty chunky bunky. So you can see this is like a really ginormous applicator here. Pretty, pretty crazy. And that is the unicarton for the creaseless concealer. So it's supposed to have the maracuja oil in it, which is like their famous oil that's super hydrating. This one is 0.28 ounces. So they look like they'd be the same. You would normally think that these guys would actually hold more, but this one holds more. So already a better value in the shape tape. So what do they say? What do they claim to do before we really put them up to the test and judge them without really knowing what it is that they're supposed to do? So the Tarte Shape Tape has in skin invigorating ingredients being shea butter, sunflower, peony, licorice root, and vitamin E, which we all know vitamin E is super hydrating for the skin, really nice and reparative as well. It does say it is a contour concealer, so great for contouring. That's probably why we see so many beauty gurus out there on YouTube and Instagram using it as like that V-shape to highlight and contour with. Creaseless waterproof concealer, I guess it's been around for a while, but I originally saw this at Sephora and I was like, whoa, I feel like I've never seen anybody talk about this one and why not? Because it's little bottle says full coverage, creaseless and waterproof. Hello, really pretty. The packaging, you just can't beat it, so pretty. I'll give you a little up close of what my skin type is. I mean, you can already see that I do have some issues that I'm always battling with. I have some redness going on, a little bit of a breakout and I, also have fine lines that I'm struggling with right around this area. I also have hyperpigmentation and I have melasma from the sun when I changed birth controls around the same time I went to Hawaii this year. So I've already done my eye makeup, obviously, my lips a little bit and my foundation and I'm gonna let the concealer and contouring come next. Now I picked up the color light in both of these and that is the only time that I have ever touched these is swatching them on my hands. So otherwise I've never worn them on my face. I will do shape tape on this side and the creaseless concealer on the side. All right, I will go in and I will apply it just like everybody else seems to be doing it. It's really thick, I'm a little bit scared. Oh, it seems like so freaking much. really good little applicator because it has a stopper in there so you don't pull out too much product so good job Tarte already this one on my nose and I will blend that out with my beauty blender blending out really easy. Right, so from what I can tell already, that is like super pretty. I haven't set it yet, obviously with powder, but it covered very, very well. Like dark spots, I could do a little bit more coverage, but pretty looking really pretty so far what do you guys think all right let's do the other side for this one I will use the same technique because I think that's only fair but it's a little squeezy too kind of a really large opening here which I'm not really used to I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand oh it's thick wow it is really thick I forgot how thick it was um maybe I shouldn't be so heavy-handed because then it's like bound to crease and I'm just gonna use a little brush than the shape tape. 
Oh, you can feel it's very sticky compared to the uh, shape tape. The shape tape in videos, like the canister looks small and the concealer looks thick because maybe because people like lay it on, but it actually was really seamless, really easy. Let's see how this one blends out. I'm not gonna do full block out, block out because it will definitely crease up, I think. It is, which is good. Most waterproof ones are, but it's like, whoa. I blend out a little bit on my nose. So those are the two sides. Again, this is the shape tape and this is the maracuja. I hope I'm saying that right, maracuja concealer in the camera they right now look identical obviously i have to review the footage but in person i would say the shape tape almost looks a little more just satiny matte and then the creaseless concealer definitely looks more dewy which is probably the maracuja oil let me finish off with my powder and contour and i will be right back okay you guys finished my whole look i looked up close and everything and i have to say I kind of didn't want to believe the hype, but I really like the shape tape side so far. I mean, we have to give it the wear test and see which one holds up longer, but it's been about 15 minutes since I first applied it. I don't know if you can see my trouble area for fine lines is actually this side and that's the shape tape side and I feel like it looks so much smoother. And then this is the creaseless concealer side, which isn't usually as difficult and I feel like right in the under eyes, is really like creasing up and looking a lot more dry, which is very interesting. I set it exactly the same way, both with Laura Mercier setting powder, not really any baking because it really dries my eyes out. And it's a close call. Right now it's a close call. I like the effect that's going on with the shape tape. So maybe it, there is something to like putting in that big chunky triangle and just washing everything out. Cause I went really light handed on this side, even though it still was a lot of product, but I was afraid it would be too thick and crease and it's already kind of creasing. So I don't know what it would be like if I went really in and it was really sticky. So I think it would be really too hard to work with. And you do have to work with that one a lot faster. I think the shape tape seems like it's more forgiving and it's, Applicator is actually a lot easier. That chunky fat stick, I really thought it was gonna be just a mess and a disaster, but I hate to say it, but so far I'm really liking the Shape Tape Concealer. Not that I'm like against trends and everything, but things get so hyped up sometimes. It's like, girl, is it really that good? And right now, I'm thinking it's that good. So I'll check back in with you uh, before I go to bed tonight, before I wash everything off, and we can see how well it all lasted. What do you guys think about that? Let's do that. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it's now actually 10.30. It's been about seven or eight hours since I first applied all the concealer. Pretty fair test, I would say. I cooked, I cleaned, I did all that stuff. I got sweaty. So I'm really liking the overall experience with both of these. It's really hard to tell. In the regular mirror, uh, no, they're really neck and neck. As far as fine lines go, my fine lines are more blurred on the shape tape side and almost like Everything's pulled forward and more flat, which is nice because it's not creasing, it's not caking or anything like that, but I do see more fine lines on this side. So it's not creasing. Now I will say the shape tape on my nose area, which is also a problem area, the shape tape side is kind of more um, flaking and kind of separating a little bit. And that just happened because maybe an hour or two ago, I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, my nose foundation still looks so good, which with allergies and stuff, that's often a problem area that everything just separates on me but the waterproof side is very much like still intact. I don't see any separation or anything. So that's awesome. Obviously I'm super red here. I have that nice little pimple coming through and I did a little lip video and that kind of aggravated it more. So of course that came out more with the wiping and reapplying lipstick and also eating and everything. So that's kind of unavoidable. I have to reapply typically you know, everywhere else where it should be staying on, it's staying on, it's nice. For eight hours of wear, I'd still be happy with everything. So what I would basically say between the two is this. 
very, very similar results, very similar feel, minus the no separation. So I do think this one is more waterproof. Sometimes with waterproof over time, it can be more drying and that might be why I see more fine lines and more pores on that side. Like I do see more pores. I do see my fine lines more. Even though it has a maracuja oil in it, it could still be drying for my really dry skin type. Now the shape tape, everything just looks, my skin just looks healthier, which is weird. And I think that's that lightening effect that it gives, but I really like it. But really, it's really, really a tie. Like honestly, at the end of the day, go with the packaging because the Tarte Shape Tape is great for everyday use and it's great for the average consumer. That applicator is super duper easy to use. You can just throw it on and it blended like a dream. Like I loved how it blended. I'm gonna be using this probably every freaking day. I really like it. Now for my pro kit, I would absolutely use this one. I would not use one of these for my pro kit just because it's more of a hassle. I'd have to take it out, put it on a thing, mix it, like everything. And the fact that this is waterproof, I'll have to wear it more and put it on some different skin types before I completely commit to putting this full line in my kit. I kind of just go off that then. Like if you like the results of what I had, the wear time, then look at the judgment for the packaging and say, hey, which one will work better for me and my skin type as well. And then there you go. Before you guys go on and click another video and fall down the rabbit hole, which is YouTube, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel. Next week, I will be posting my review on this little unicorn glitter doodad. Woo, and you don't wanna miss it. No, 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 you don't. So go down and subscribe. And also come find me on Twitter specifically. I'm on all social media and I'll put my links in the description box, but Twitter I'm having a whole lot of fun with and I don't have to be as crazy business professional so I can be a little more silly and I like talking to you guys on there so come find me there and we'll have some fun and a special thank you to everybody who shares my videos that helps me more than you know every little view helps and if you have any girlfriends that need some tips and tricks or is curious about certain products go ahead and send my link their way thank you guys again so much for sticking with me and watching me and supporting me I love you guys so much have a great day